What's going on guys, it's Fallen Angel 14 and welcome back to a brand new video and as you can tell from the title, this is going to be discussing my desktop setup. And as you can tell already, it's going to be discuss- it's basically gonna go over my keyboard, my PC, the type of equipment I use and all that for using my computer in general, like a mouse, and I already listed keyboard, speakers, uh, USB connections and all that, so without further delay, let's get right into the video. Now to start off, I'll go over the PC that I got 4-5 to five years ago, and that is an HP laptop, and quite honestly, I do not know much about specifications when it comes to laptops with their graphics cards and all that, so I took a picture on my phone from about on, me, on my about device to show you guys what I'm talking about for specifications. And the processor is an AMD A6 4455M APU with Radeon HD graphics, 2.10 GHZ. The installed RAM is 4.0 gigabytes, 3.47 gigabytes usable, and the system type is a 64-bit operating system, X64 based processor, and it does support pen and touch, but sadly, screen got cracked, which disabled that touch little figure that I had going on for me, so yeah. Now my keyboard is is made from the brand of Yufu and it's a backlit LED wired gaming keyboard with mechanical feeling and it's USB wired obviously with backlight rainbow RGB multicolor water resistant adjustable illumination and it does also have the seals in order for the water to like soak up or whatever like little holes in it for the water to drain it drain in certain areas. And yeah, overall, it's a really nice keyboard. The only downfall of it is it only has one type of effect setting to it, which only allows it to pulse, like the colors. You can't change it to a specific color. And you can't really do much with it besides the breathing effect, changing the brightness, or turning it off in general. Overall, though, the computer's... The computer. The keyboard itself is really, really useful. I, I would not regret this purchase at all. It was definitely worth, like, $20. This mouse in particular was called the Magic Eagle and it is made by Havit and it currently, the one that I have at least, has 4 DPI levels. One is 8,800, the second is 1,200, third is 2,400, and the maximum is 3,200 DPI. There is 7 circular and breathing LED light inside of it, which basically means that it's, it basically circles through 7 colors at once, like it basically just fades to different colors. And it comes with six buttons. There's a left click, a right click, DPI button, scroll wheel, front and back page button. I really don't use those much because um, they're not really that helpful for me. But overall though, this mouse, I really like it. Really, really cheap and definitely really worth it. Nice feeling to it, no cramping at all. And it's definitely worth the money that I brought it for, maybe even more. But definitely, I definitely recommend getting this mouse if you plan on getting one because my god, it's just amazing. The microphone I currently use is the blue snowball and I <laughs> accidentally threw out the box where it kind of contained some of the info that I needed. So I kind of just went online and looked at the specs right there so I'll just read it to you guys from here on out from the website, the official website at least from bluedesigns.com just letting you guys know that no sponsorship. But anyway, the transducer type is a, con a condenser pressure gradient with USB digital output. The polar patterns are cardioid or omnidirectional, my god these words. The frequency response is position 1 to 3 with a 40 to 80 kilohertz ratio I guess, I don't know. And then um, it also the sample slash word rate is 44.1 kilohertz slash 16 bit. The weight is 460 grams and the dimensions is 325 millimeters for the circumference aka the microphone itself like the big blue circle you could see on the video footage and I'll probably put a photo up there and the system requirements Windows 7 8 or 10 USB 1.1 2.0 or newer 64 megabytes of RAM and yeah it's basically that's for Windows of course Macintosh that's like other stuff I won't list that because this is just my setup and all that so yeah overall though this microphone I like it very smooth as you can tell it's very smooth but um yeah um overall I really like this microphone it's 
it's nice, definitely useful, it's just amazing, I'm so glad I got this, I don't know how much my aunt got it for, cause you know, Christmas and it's rude to ask. So, overall, I really like this microphone, it's worth it, I'd buy it if I were you, a little expensive, but definitely worth it. Now these speakers are definitely something interesting because they're not just your ordinary speakers, they're actually fountain speakers, basically water that comes out during the music, which is which you could see from the video footage right there. But overall, I really like these um speakers because they are both wireless and wired, so I definitely have no problems there. It's rechargeable battery, lasts 3 hours when being used, 6 hours being idle. And I know you guys don't really care much about the features, so I kind of skipped that, but for the features, I am going to say that it's basically, basically you could use the ja jack to connect it to anything, gaming, PC, phone, it works for anything. Now, let's get right into the specifications, which is the interesting part for most of you. The output power is 3W, I have no idea what 3W is, probably 3 watts, I'm not sure, because you know me, I don't know jack about um, specifications, but anyway. Next one, the frequency response is 220 hertz to 13,000 hertz. Jeez, that's a lot. The impendent, the impedance is 4 omega, I guess. That's the omega symbol, I'm pretty sure. Um, the output power total is 3 watts plus 3 watts. I'm gonna say W is watts, but I'll put it on the screen like to display the stuff. And uh, the dimensions are, the length is 51 millimeters by a width of 63 millimeters with a height of 220 millimeters. The weight estimated is 620 grams with both the speakers so i'm guessing if you divide that no math and like i hate it. sorry for the math people out there well sorry for people who think that math um is bad but that's like 310 grams for both speaker for one speaker and there's two so it's 620 and the battery is a lithium battery the capacity is 2500 mah oh my god the, vo the voltage is 3.7V, charging time 2 hours, play time 3 hours, standby time 6 hours, and yeah, that's basically all there is to know about these headphones, I'm um, not these headphones, these speakers, and quite honestly, I, I really do enjoy them. They're a really nice antique, really nice thing to use for this PC, especially since this PC setup is LED mainly, so... I would definitely get myself one of the um I would definitely get myself one of these if I were you guys because it's cheap like 20 30 dollars 20 to 30 dollars one of those and like I said it's really reliable sound quality is really good and I have no problems with it at all so go get yourself a pair dude guys because this is definitely worth it well anyway guys that concludes this video for now um I really hope you enjoyed it it took quite a long time to make not gonna lie and I bet took a few days just to make this just because of procrastination which is a bad thing about me but overall I really hope you guys enjoyed this video it did take a lot of time and effort to make a lot of planning and stuff a lot of um, recording to do a lot of you know gathering of information so I really if you guys really did enjoy that video just you know just hit the like button I never did that in my life but yeah and if you guys do like this channel consider subscribing you would obviously don't have to it's just uh, just a little recommendation from me, even though it's pretty sad coming from me. But yeah, overall, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will have more videos planned for the future, so this isn't the end. But with that being said, I will see you all in the next video, guys.